Today, on the Vinyl Record Mission, I'm going to continue whetting my appetite for destruction to prevent destruction by opening one of my Holy Grail box sets that has been sealed. Stay tuned. Your two favorite guys, Ryan and Steve, from the Vinyl Record Mission. Steve here from the Vinyl Record Mission. Today I am going to whet your appetite for more destruction, possibly. Hopefully not. I am going to unseal all the records in my Guns N' Roses Locked and Loaded Limited Edition the ultimate effin box. This is one of 10,000 copies pressed, and I'll clue you in on a little something. They come with certificates that I'll show you later that have which number pressing you received. And on mine, it is all zeros. So I'm not sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure that means this was a advanced copy or a promo or for executives in the company. Nevertheless, mine is not numbered. It's a number zero. So, probably one of the better pressings. However, I do not know how these records were, uh, were sleeved, and I'm gonna find out with you here. I'm gonna unbox and unseal all these records. But before we go into that, I just want you to see how beautiful the packaging is. It came in this beautiful, graphic box with you know all of the great logos from the Guns N' Roses franchise there you see that I forget I I can't remember the names I'm not like a Star Wars geek when it comes to this I just love the music there's Guns N' Roses was here there's the, the drunk robot I guess you could say um, and then that again on top has the Guns N' Roses classic logo with the guns and um, yeah it was nicely protected and full of uh, styrofoam uh, corner protector so it was very well protected in inside if you want to buy one of these um, used the median price on discogs is about six hundred and eighty eight dollars and then the high is nine hundred and eighty nine dollars and when they came out, I think they were about 500 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I've seen them sell for as high as $2,000 for a sealed one like this is right here. So for all you guys that say that I am doing this to increase the value of my sealed uh, records, you're mistaken. I'm actually doing this because I have been opening my sealed records and I've learned a great deal if you've seen the last few videos that I've posted about ghosting and hazing and PVC, the use of PVC in inner sleeves and outer sleeves and that that off-gassing can penetrate through album covers, especially those that um, are uh, unlaminated, I believe it is, but it's it's just ghosting is a, is a real issue. No one has really come to the conclusion as to why, but I'm not going to take any more chances with any of my records. I have bought all of my records to be listened to at some point in time. I'm not just a collector of sealed records, and, you know, so for all of you that want to say, oh, I don't understand, music was meant to be listened to, records were meant to be played, I understand that. I am going to be opening all of my records now because I have an issue of collecting records faster than I can open them and listening to them. That's a, that's a good problem to have. But because of the way I'm in this hobby, um, was a previous record store owner and my partner and I, we still buy big collections. So we don't have time to open everything that we get. We have a lot of other work to do prior to even deciding that. Enough said, let's get to looking at the records. So this is the box. It's an amazing wooden box that's coated in faux leather. It's got monograms all over it. It's textured. It's just amazing. This is a hand-carved clay cross by one of the artists that's in the credits. Uh, and it opens up like this in beautiful fashion. It's heavy. True. Trust me, this is a heavy box. And here's everything you've got. You've got all these records in here. Here's the 7-inch. And these, every one of these little drawers here has something unique for the hardcore Guns N' Roses fan. 
And then over here is all of the, uh, like the ephemera, you know, paper goods, flyers, just really cool stuff. I'm gonna to try to go through it as fast as I can for you. But what I am gonna do on camera is, as you can see, these are all sealed. 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 You get the picture and sealed. So I'm going to open all these and hope to God that there's no ghosting on any of these because they were in here pretty tight. This is a tight squeeze. And this was actually, when was this released? Let me see. The year was, did they put the year in here? Okay. This was released in 2018, right? So it, it was not that long ago, but it's been sealed for all that time. So I am just concerned. I'm going to go ahead and start ripping the shrink off of these. I've got uh, my trash can over here because it's going to be a big mess. But I'll show you what the vinyl looks like on all of them. And uh, hopefully we'll get through it uh, without any destruction. Let's start with the iconic Appetite for Destruction here. Beautiful uh, redone high gloss cover. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to use this to get it started because I'm just going to rip off this shrink. It's not... Okay. Wow, super high gloss. Man, I don't even want to put my fingerprints on there. I should actually do this with some gloves. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to. Oh, I can already see some off-gassing on the cover from this PVC, probably made from shitty PVC outer right here. So like I said, look at the top of this. You see that? That's some kind of, I don't know, it's a film. Could it be off-gassing from that cover? Possibly. But the rest of it, look, you can see it's like high gloss. I don't even want to put my fingerprints on there. So this is the outer sleeve of the record, which let's go ahead and see if this will come off, first of all. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it, it wipes off. Thank goodness. So that did come off, just to be clear. It came off. So this is just a sleeve, an outer sleeve, which super high gloss. This is actually made of aluminum. It's not even cardboard, it's aluminum, which is very nice. Inside you've got the album cover with the original artwork that was on the, the Appetite for Destruction album. And then of course, uh, this robot, that I don't remember what it's called, but it is in fact some sort of killer robot. Going inside, let's see. Well, it's not PVC inner sleeves, but it looks like high density polyethylene inner sleeves. We'll pull this out and the vinyl looks beautiful. There is no ghosting whatsoever. Just super clean, high gloss, amazing, pristine mint condition vinyl, which I am very, very happy to find out. Um, there's the label, very cool, just simple Guns N' Roses label. So these are the kind of sleeves that I actually re-sleeve all my records in when I do get them. And I haven't had any problems yet. Cool. Included lyric sheet inside with the full color photo of the band on the other side. Backside lyrics. Awesome. 
The inside of the record is a nice photo of the band, probably on the Sunset Strip somewhere, outside the Troubadour, more likely. And then here's the other album, it's a double album. There's another great photo of the group. And let's check the second record. Super clean again. Again, another winner. So I'm hoping that the rest, oh, this is the one with the, uh, oh, interesting. This is that hologram thing on the back. See that? I guess when this spins and plays, see that there's one of the holograms and then there's the other one on the top. I'll show you, there's two on there. One there and then I'll have to play this for you. I'll put this on the turntable so you can actually see it when it spins. Very, very cool. So we got that, that's the first LP. That is the Guns N' Roses reissue of uh, and remastered Appetite for Destruction. Next up we got this here. And this is the Guns N' Roses live like a suicide. And let's go ahead and get this one ripped open as well. This one. So it looks like hopefully they're all in these inner sleeves, which is going to be awesome. I don't have any worries about any ghosting on these or off-gassing, and I am seeing absolutely none. So that is the next one, Live Like a Suicide, remastered and reissued. Amazing. I'm sure these are all going to sound outstanding. These records are not easy to come by in the wild these days, especially in this condition. Then this we will do, I forget what this one is. Uh, this is Appetite for Destruction as well. It looks like it's an EP. It's got Your Crazy, Patience, Used to Love Her, Your Crazy, and then the B-side is It's So Easy, Knocking on Heaven's Door and a whole lot of Rosie. Let's see what's in it. It's like Christmas, huh? Just opening presents. Big boy presents. Okay. There we go. Beautiful stuff, man. Just outrageous. The quality. Oh yeah, it's B-sides and EPs on here. That's what it says on there, right? B-sides and EPs. And then we'll open this one, check out the vinyl. Again, pristine. No, no ghosting, no hazing, no nothing, no fingerprints. Especially because I'm wearing gloves. Okay, I'm sure these gloves are made from PVC. Hopefully I don't off-gas. <laughs> All right, we're getting down to the end of the albums. Now this is the one that I'm really excited about. This was recorded, this is Geffen, Guns N' Roses, um, Manny and Tom producers, um, Jim Friacci uh, and Bruce Barris. This is uh, the Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction, 1986 Sound City Sessions. And these are like the lost tapes here. And there's a whole grip of amazing stuff on this record. And this material is uh, otherwise unavailable unless you buy this box set. So I will say this, not, oh, that's just the graphics. I thought the corner was ding, but this is the actual uh, cover of the reel to reel tape that they used an image of for this album. So as you can see, it's got, you know, the tattered corners like this right here. At first I thought the, the cover was jacked up. But yeah, this is an actual image of the box that contained the, the Scotch, you know, audio reels from these sessions. 
So let's see what this looks like inside. So this opens up to some cool images of the band and the actual tape right there. And then oh, it opens up again, it looks like. Oh, okay, I get it. I guess those are the tapes that you're gonna find uh, the music for on these, looks like three LPs in here. So let's see what the first one looks like and how these are sealed. So everything looks like it's sealed in these great HDPE inner sleeves. Uh, there was no off-gassing, as I said already on the earlier stuff that I've opened. And these, again, are all pristine. I'm so happy to be opening this because now I don't have to wonder and I don't have to worry. And, um, yeah, I'm getting too old for that. That takes years off your life, I hear. And let's see, so these are all in here, all three albums. Again, super clean. Yes, so these albums look to be in mint condition. And I'm very happy to now be able to say that I own this collection. And if I really wanted to preserve it to sell it one day, I could honestly say, it was never played. It's in mint condition. Verified mint condition is actually better than sealed mint condition because no record that is sealed can technically be considered mint until you open it. Because until then, you could have a sealed record that is damaged or defective. So yeah, it's kind of a, a loose term there. But when you open a record, that's sealed and it's mint, you actually have a mint record. Fact. All right, here are all the cool singles. Look at these. So there's Guns N' Roses, seven inch with It's So Easy and Mr. Brownstone on it. This is another one, seven inch with Welcome to the Jungle on one side and Whole Lot of Rosie on the other. And then you got Sweet Child of Mine and get uh, out to get me. That's amazing. And then this is Guns N' Roses Paradise City and used to love her, but I had to kill her. Patience and Rocket Queen right here. And this is, what is this? Guns N' Roses, oh yes, of course, Night Train. And then lastly, but not least, Shadow of Your Love and Move to the City acoustic version so these are also sealed and as you guys already know I'm a 45 collector so I um, just want to check these and see how what kind of condition they're in and if I'm not mistaken I think these might be some of these might be on colored vinyl so let's see if that's the case nice little white inner sleeve they got looks like and yes, indeed, in true fashion, colored vinyl. Now that's when I think colored vinyl is cool, on 45s. That I don't mind. one Mr. Brownstone as you can see they're all in that beautiful cool looking kind of a I don't know off yellow gold color love it awesome no defects they all look nice and clean no warps that I can see all right so all the media so far is in check and seems in very good condition so let's move on to, these were open because I couldn't wait and there wasn't records in them, so I opened these up. These have all kinds of great um, media stuff inside. Let's see, I can't remember what these are. Oh, this is really cool. So here's uh, the locked and loaded, just little informative card. Here's what I wanted you to see. 
That is my certificate of authenticity. And look at that number. Yep. That's five zeros right there, baby. Not number one, but less than number one. So that's really cool. Comes with this killer slip mat. With the, I guess that's the, uh, the Avenger. I don't know. Can't remember. And then you've got all kinds of cool concert posters. These were the flyers that used to be stuck on every wooden telephone pole and electric pole on Sunset and Vine for shows at the Troubadour and wherever else they were performing. These guys were literally, I think, the greatest LA rock band of all time. They probably sold more records than anybody and just blew the doors open for uh, every heavy metal band after them. Here's another one. Just, there was so much great stuff. This is an autographed one from the guys as well. And then there's this huge, giant poster included in here of the guys. Not sure who took this, if it was Ross Halpin or, or who, but yeah, definitely all kinds of great memorabilia for the Guns N' Roses fan. So that's in one of the boxes. And this next one has Oh, uh, these are all graphic images of for each of the albums, I guess. And this is I think maybe Paradise City, I can't remember. There's an every one of these is for the records for the the title songs, I think on the EPs. I believe that would be Night Train. Uh, not sure, you can guess. I think that's Mr. Brownstone. And there's another one, maybe that's Paradise City. So those come with that. And lastly, here's another one. I think this one has, I don't know if this has more. Yeah, this is more. Um, artist renderings about from the band and the songs. I don't know if this is uh, My Michelle maybe, I don't know. Sweet Child of Mine or something. But yeah, this is all song title related. That I will eventually find out. I couldn't possibly remember all this. There you go. And yeah. Well, that last one's pretty graphic. Wow. Yeah, these guys were rock and roll misfits and rebels, right? So, goes without saying there's going to be some adult subject matter. And then this, I didn't open, but this is a leather-bound, amazing case that contains some really, a, a really nice color photo uh, booklet. I'll show you. This is a, a great coffee table book right here. And it's on a really great leather embossed. As you can see, it's embossed with all the images of the guys, the band members, and that cross logo. The backside has the Guns N' Roses logo embossed. So in here, We've got this beautiful leather bound, again, embossed book with just a plethora of amazing shots of the guys. Color photos um, from all of their collections, from, from Axl Rose's personal stash, there's flyers, Pictures of the band backstage. Um, just all kinds of great stuff in here. And believe me, it just goes on and on and on and on. So that is, I think this is a 94 page booklet of nothing but Guns N' Roses, you know, 
unreleased photos and images of the band. And in the back, you've got your Blu-ray. Here's where the Blu-ray stuff comes in, right there. That's one. And then these are there's a set of CDs as well that were I mentioned earlier in the beginning. So that's another set of media that's included in this box set. Okay, I think we're halfway through. Here's some uh, reproduction Guns N' Roses concert tickets in there. That's from the Troubadour. Um, another little information card. These are some actual tattoos, some rub off tattoos uh, that are um, reproductions of the tattoos that the band members had. That's really kind of cool. Here's another uh, cool Guns N' Roses uh, Appetite for Destruction flyer. And then you've got these. These are awesome. These are full, beautiful shots. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are by Ross Halfin of the guy's color photos. That's Axl Rose. Then you've got beautiful color photo of Slash right there. And then that's, you got Duff. And then, man, I'm really bad. I don't even remember all the names of the band members. There's another guy smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and then here's the last one. Yeah, anyhow. And then there is, this is what's really cool. If you like this kind of thing, this is a poster, frameable poster of the original artwork there and that was done let's see that was done by Robert Williams yeah and believe it or not he did this painting in 1978 yeah and it found its way onto a Guns N' Roses album cover and then lastly there's another huge full color poster of the band that is just iconic of course right this is the iconic shot of them and that is a big full color poster so yeah lots of great stuff included in this for $500 I mean gosh you know Bill Evans record box set you only got some records and maybe a book but that was it all right this is a really tough video to do to try to keep it short because there is just so much stuff um, and I'm trying to go as fast as I can so let's I'm sure you can tell that now we're down to the goodie boxes in here these little cubby holes everything includes something this right here has um, all these are these are all rings. Uh, each and every one of the band members is in here, as you can see. And these are just you know rings you can put on your finger and wear to your to your rock and roll concerts, man. And uh, then there's of course a medallion on the bottom. Just a cool collector's medallion with the cross on there and then uh, whatever that robot guy is that's getting drunk on the back side and let's see what else let's put that one away and next up we have yes the cool Guns N' Roses 45 adapter mm -hmm. and then here's the USB with all that music on there. This is what it's weight in gold right here. It's got everything. All the vinyl songs from the vinyl, uh, all the unreleased uh, music from the uh, sound studio, Sound City Studio recordings. That's another gem in there. And these are guitar picks. Solid metal guitar picks. Not sure that anybody would play a solid metal guitar pick, but there they are with all the band 
caricatures engraved on them. And almost done, guys, almost done. Then these are just like pins, you know, pin backs with the guys again and their caricatures. These just got the little pin back, you see? Pin it on your shirt, walk around with axle on your chest. And here, a bunch of fun stuff. This is a whole bunch of concert pins. Uh, Appetite for Destruction concert pin. Guns N' Roses concert pin. Another Guns N' Roses with the cross. Another old style logo of Guns N' Roses. And then the uh, drunk robot guy, another pin. Also cool right here for all you metal jacket wearers, patches. Yeah, for your jackets, man. Your denim jackets. There you go, Guns N' Roses, the live like a suicide. Another Guns N' Roses old school logo. The classic Guns N' Roses logo with the pistols and the roses. And the night train robot right there. And lastly, Guns N' Roses was here. I'm sure they left this with every girl that they slept with. What I could possibly do, oh, I guess I could actually leave them in here. Leave out the books. There you go, brilliant. I will leave out all of those other heavy, thick things that were on this side, and I can break up the LPs and they should be fine. God, I'm glad I do these videos. Uh, for myself sometimes lastly and then these here oh this is a actual this is a cleaning cloth with mr. mini mite on it uh, I'm not sure maybe if this is for record cleaning or to wipe down your records I don't know uh, I'll have to look into that and then there is I think this is actually the bandana that's a bandana I'll probably not open that. And this is the backdrop of their very first Guns N' Roses concert that they had done. So it's got the grommets. Look at that. It's got grommets. So you can literally hang this in your record room if you wanted to. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So one other thing almost forgot the mystery box nobody knew about this so many people don't know about this but if you don't look back here there's another box tucked way in the back that you slide out and inside this box there is this that is a cassette tape of welcome to the jungle anything goes don't cry back off and think about you. This is actual re recorded issue of their first demo tape. The Guns N' Roses demo tape. So I get to put this in my cassette player that is hooked up to my stereo and listen and see what they sounded like back then. I think that's just brilliant and awesome of Jeff and the producers of this Guns N' Roses box set. So that is it. Uh, I know this was a long journey, and if you stuck around to the end, I want to thank you for doing so. And I'm happy to report that my appetite is satiated, and there was no destruction of my records, my precious vinyl records. And hopefully you come out the same way with all of your records that are sealed. Like I said, I'm still on my journey of opening all of my sealed records just to prevent any further disaster that I've already experienced uh, a number of disasters. So I don't look forward to any more and I'm hoping that I can prevent them by opening all of my sealed records. No matter how rare they are, I'm going to open them because eventually I'm going to listen to them. Thanks for joining me. This is Steve from the Vinyl Record Mission. Until next time. Take care. <laughs>
you haven't, make sure you hit like and subscribe to the Vinyl Record Mission so that way you don't miss out on any future content. More videos coming your way.